Hey, Daniel Lanier here, and I got a fun little tool for you today. This is the work saw, which is a cordless circular saw, and it's got a depth of an inch and a quarter. So a pretty cool tool for you to have for cutting, uh, you know, if you got some small pieces of uh, plywood or just stock wood, things like that, that you need to do quick cuts on. This is a great little addition to have where it's cordless. You don't have to worry about the cord, have it on the job, just making quick cuts. This is awesome too. So we're gonna get into this, take it through its paces. I gotta actually have a project set up for this guy. So we're gonna have some fun going through a little project with this guy, getting it all set up and then putting it through its paces. So let's see what we got in the box. Okay, so in the box, instructions. Warranty information, of course. It's awesome. That Love That Works warranty, three-year warranty again. Pretty awesome there. Make sure you register your products so you can take advantage of that. And then we've got the saw itself. So this is the body assembly saw. Blade's going to go in there. Battery goes on right here. All right, so we got the saw. Of course, we've got a charger, and this is a 20 volt cordless circular saw. So if you're in the works family already and you got other 20 volt batteries, this will work. So you got a 20 volt battery. You got the adapter. So you can hook this up to a vacuum. So if you're in a shop or something like that and you want to vacuum up your sawdust, you actually have the attachment so you can do that. So that's pretty cool that it comes with that. Keep everything nice and clean in your shop. Then it's got your guide, give you some cool straight cuts. So it's got the guide that you can attach to it. And then there's a the saw blade. It just comes with one blade. That's it. So we got, you know, like I, like I always say, works keeps it pretty simple. You know, it keeps everything to the stuff you need. So you got your charger, battery, saw blade, saw itself, guide, and then hose for your shop to clean up your dust. So that's it. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and get the blade on, attach the blade, throw on the battery, and then we're gonna get down to business. I'm excited, I'm excited to, to actually use this one. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's go, let's get it all put together. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing together. So if you look on here, you've got an unlock here, and in the bag with your dust connector, you've got an Allen wrench. So this Allen wrench, you're gonna use that kind of unscrew right here. So you got your Allen wrench in the bag with your dust connector. So right here, you got your release. And if you look, it's got a Titan Loosen. Titan Loosen on it. I know the cicadas are probably extremely loud in this video. <laughs> um, so let's just keep going. So you got Titan and Loosen here, so you're just gonna loosen that, and it's, don't even need that right now. Got this little washer, take that off, and all this paper right here is for, is to tell you, make sure you put the washer on. So it's the washer, then the locking bolt, Make sure you put those on first. The washer does not go underneath the blade. So you wanna make sure you put the blade, wash the bolt. So, we got that off. Now, just looking at this, I can tell you there's some people right now saying, Daniil, how am I gonna get this blade in here? Does this thing come off? Nope, it only goes that way. It doesn't come off. What you're gonna do is quite easy. You're actually gonna just slide the blade. You're gonna lay it down, and you're gonna slide the blade right into the slot right here, you're gonna slide the blade in, all right? And be careful, this, this blade is definitely sharp right out the package. Got a little guard on it just to, it's definitely sharp, be careful. So like I said, you're gonna slide this in 
and the way you want the blades if you look you can see right here you want the blades going forward like that so you want the blades going around like that when you put them in pretty easy all you gotta do is have a label up label up and you're good to go all right so i'm just going to take this and i'm just going to slide it in like i'm at the casino sliding in a silver dollar Cherry, 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 cherry. Oh, there we go. We got a winner. So you just slide that on, got it on with your fingers, and then you're good. I want to show you guys how later on you're going to have to remove a blade just so you know how to do it right now. So you can't just, as you can see, you can't just pop it off like you did. I look like one of those commercials where people act like they don't know what they're doing on. Ah, but you can't just pop it off like that. All you got to do is just take something from behind and just pop it up then it'll slide right out. So remember, when you're taking it off, just pop something from behind, just pop the blade up, and then it'll slide right out. All right, so let's drop that in the casino slot again. Put that blade in there, get it down. Remember, we gotta make sure we have the washer first. The washer. And then we got the lock, okay? Now, I didn't show you guys this little button on the other side because you're probably not going to need it to your tightening. But this little button right here is how you're going you're gonna to hold that to stop the gear from trying to spin when you're tightening. It's going to engage the gear, and then you can finish the tightening process. There you go, nice and tight. Make sure you get it nice and tight. So that's it. That's the assembly on this guy. So you're just dropping the blade in into the little slot. Hold it flat. Just... Helps it a little easier. Slide the blade in, get it in place, washer, then locking bolt, and now we are good to go. This guy is ready to go. I'm excited. Let's get a battery on there. Boom, that's it with the battery. You got a little safety release here. Now we're in business. Oh, yeah. I like it, I like it. I like it. All right. So now we're going to talk about some uh, operational use. So let's get into operating this, and we're going to talk about setting it up for getting your depth and things like that, uh, getting your angles, so things like that. So let's go ahead and get into that piece. All right, so here we are. Now we're going to get into operational. We're going to do some cuts right here on some wood. Um, but what I want to talk about first, and I took the battery off to kind of explain this process of how you guys are going to operate the work saw. And I don't want you guys to make a mistake that I actually made and I've got a little gash right here in my board. Because once you guys get this in operational mode, once you get this engaged, so if I had the battery on right now and I push down, this thing would engage and the saw would, would cut. So I gotta show you guys how to properly do this because what you're not gonna do is, what you would think is, you're just gonna push down like that. As soon as you do that, you're engaging the blade. The blade would be spinning. If I didn't have the battery off right now, the blade would actually be spinning right now. And that's what you don't want. If you look, see how I'm angling it up. That's not how you're gonna operate the tool and use the tool properly. So let's talk about how we're gonna properly use this tool. All right, so I got a regular circular saw here. And what I wanted to show you, a regular circular saw has this blade guard that swings down so the blade's not right on you. So as you engage, the surface, the blade guard is going to move. I don't have this powered on, but the blade guard is going to move, allowing the saw to go through what you're cutting, and then it's going to swing down. So as you go through the surface, blade guard opens, cuts the wood. Now on the work saw, it's really about your safety because right now the blade's not exposed. Put this down, it's in a bag, wherever it's at, blade's not exposed, no danger. If I were to engage the blade, pull this up, now the blade's engaged, I'm in cutting mode, or if this was sitting in the back like this, you could hurt yourself. You could cut up the stuff that you got. So this is basically like your blade guard right here. Now how you're going to engage the blade, so you have a little lift lever right here, along with the safety release. So safety release is open. So now the catch is open, and I pull this up and I use this to kind of set 
my gauge. So if I have a certain depth that I want to stop at, I can use this to stop at that particular depth. So I'm engaged. And then you're cutting. Boom, boom, boom. What we're going to do, I'm going to line it up. And I'm making sure my finger is on this little hook right here. Got a little hook. Make sure my finger's on that, not underneath it, on the hook. You don't want to cut yourself. You make sure your finger's on the hook. And I'm going to line up my blade, engage. And now I'm in. And we're through. All right, so let's do another cut. So you're putting your finger on the hook. So you're engaging that, and you have to pull the safety latch. So you pull the safety latch back, which releases the trigger, so you can pull the hook. Okay, so you move the safety, move the safety latch, and then you can engage, okay? So you gotta pull that safety, and then pull that down, all right? And then you're going to line up your blade. Get there. All right, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and make this cut. And then it's time to stop talking. And it's time to start working and put the work saw through its paces, actually putting together this garden center. So we're going to go ahead and start off with a plank cut. And what a plank cut is, is just joining two pieces of wood together by removing material from both pieces. I had to set the depth of the work saw to do this. And then I'm just making a series of straight line cuts in both pieces of wood. And the work saw worked great. Didn't have any issues with power, no issues with battery life. And as you can see, actually, I was able to get very specific lines and be very precise on my cuts to go ahead and remove this material and make the plank cut. Work saw worked really well there. After that, I had to cut out a notch because I use these paper wall blocks to make my garden center. And I had to cut out some notches for the deck that I put on my garden center. Work saw cutting through this plywood, not having any issues as you can see cutting through very precise again and speaking of precise I had to do a drop cut which basically I'm dropping the saw right down into the wood to make this cut and again very precise cut battery still going strong going through this plywood and I had to make this cut twice because I had to do another uh, notch cut on the other end of the deck so I had to do uh, a notch on both sides of the deck and it worked great look at this just came right out very precise cut there, no problems. And I was able to take this and slide it right in. Look at that, boom, fit perfectly. And like I said, I had to do another one on the other end. It worked great. And then I just used the work saw to get rid of my old garden center that I had. If you see my video on the garden center, you can see the old one. Just tore that down, worked right through it, no issues. Love the work saw a lot. Hey, this is Daniil Lanier, and I'm here finishing up with the work saw, which is really cool. It's just a portable, small, circular saw. Has about an inch depth that you can go. And this guy performed really well. I did some drop cuts with it. I used this to do the uh, the garden center, a lot of little cuts on the garden center that, that I uh, made a little while ago. But this guy performed well. I had no issues making cuts, no issues with power work really well the thing that you will have to get used to is just sliding that guard out of the way so sometimes you can do it i can do it in a one-handed um, action or i can get it to go a lot of times you're going to use two hands just getting ready to make that cut to pull that guard to expose the blade out of the way changing the blade and putting on new blades really easy process no problems there able to set different depth as you guys if you guys take a look at the uh, garden video you can see i used it to make a plank cut cut out a lot of uh, lines and cuts to make that plank cut. This guy performed well, did a nice drop cut. Really, really like this tool a lot. Portable, you don't have to get your big circular saw out. You can just have this guy, throw it in your bag, and you're good to go. So this is Daniil Lanier, really digging the work saw. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. I know you guys are gonna love the stuff I got on the channel. DYIs and more reviews, and I even got some motivational for you. So check it out, this is Daniil Lanier. I know you got stuff to do, and so do I, deuces. So here it is. Thought I'd show you guys how the garden came out, and as you guys can see, 
the garden is doing well it's producing a lot of stuff growing back here and i did a lot of work with the work saw back here and it performed well for a small compact circular saw this thing was great so no issues with battery life no issues with power so if you're looking for a cordless circular saw compact cordless circular saw then the work saw is for you perform great